Okay, we're back today with another version of turning Arm & Hammer baking soda, aka sodium bicarbonate, into super washing soda, which is basically sodium carbonate. Like, you lose the hydrogen, and I think you lose a carbon molecule. I don't really know the science completely behind it, but regardless, there is a difference. And our end goal is to make a piezoelectric Rochelle salt. So to do that, we need to turn that into washing soda. Anyway, I've tried some methods and in the past they were pretty extensive online. There's all kinds of recipes. So we're gonna start today with the most basic and see how that works. Basically, we've got our little toaster oven set to the max. I think anything over 400 is gonna be fine. Get a, um, a, a Pyrex baking dish and put in some baking soda. And then, um, I guess apparently you just put it in there for an hour and check on it. In the past, I've, I've done all kinds of things like different temperatures for different hours. And if it's this easy, then rad. So we're going to basically just put this, oops, um, and kind of, you want it to be shallow ultimately. And you can kind of tell by the texture. Um, we'll see when we're done, but see how it's kind of clumps together and it's, um, it's baking soda. Um, well, the consistency is going to change when we get rid of all the liquid in there. So, all right. So there we have it. We're going to put her in for one hour and see how it looks in an hour. 400 degrees or more. Okay. So next step, boiling water, cream of tartar and just put it in, mix it up. And the whole double boiler thing, yeah, we're gonna nuke it and see how that works for not very long because there's not very much water in here. So, um, and then on to the next step after we throw in the microwave. Okay, so we're just mixing it up. It's real hot from the microwave. Next step is we're gonna slowly, we're not measuring um, here, just little tiny bits at a time of, of the sodium carbonate, washing soda, in. And as you can see, it gets pretty violent in the bubbling and you're going to keep on doing this until it stops the effect of um, bubbling when you add it and um, it's all about saturation so mix it in really really good eventually there'll be more um, there'll be no reaction and that is when we'll move on to the next step so I'm going to do this okay so just to show you see how it doesn't react anymore like no reaction so that means we have enough sodium carbonate mixture and now we're going to strain it. Oops. And just coffee filter. And um, this is such a little amount that it probably shouldn't take very long. But after it is filtered, you're going to take the mixture of the pure stuff down, you know, under, obviously, <laughs> and, um, and put it in a container, like a glass jar with a lid is ideal, into a dark corner for it to hopefully yield some crystals um, and we'll be back to check out how these ones work out and because it's such an expensive little mixture I would hang on to the top stuff even and redissolve it and use it for a later time maybe just saying doing is <laughs> possibly nothing but I have the mixture I think I over um, watered my mixture so it's not saturated enough it wasn't producing any effect when I added the sodium carbonate so I'm trying to nuke out some of the water in it but with both of the um, ingredients in there and so we're hoping to see if maybe the it'll do anything to the microwave maybe because the piezoelectric effect and the dis I don't know it might do nothing sounds active though <laughs> Microwaves do some weird stuff for sure. Uh. Be boring, never mind. Note to self and anybody else who uses Pyrex for directly heating, um, apparently my house is cool, not cold, but cool hot flashes and all. Um, 
but uh, definitely not even worthy of a heater. But when I um, put it to a boil in the Pyrex distilled water and then um, turned the heat off and walked away, about uh, 20 minutes later, out of nowhere, it just exploded. And uh, Pyrex is known to do that. So just make sure you know that. Like if you start boiling it, finish the project before it cools down <laughs> or use something other than Pyrex. All right. doing is 